Are you ready for a wild ride into the unknown? Hold on tight as we explore the Book of Jubilees, a mind-blowing ancient text that will knock your socks off. Have you ever wondered about the Book of Jubilees, a mysterious book that claims to reveal the hidden secrets of the creation, the patriarchs, and the law? Did you know that some people consider it to be inspired by God and part of the Bible, while others reject it as a forgery and a heresy? In this video, we will explore a fascinating and outlandish theory that suggests why the Book of Jubilees is not in the Bible. We will uncover three main reasons that explain why this book was excluded from the canon of Scripture. Hold on to your seats as we dive into the realm of out-of-the-box ideas and uncover some incredible secrets hidden in an ancient text. But before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this one. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. All right, let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to Faith Fix, where we explore the most intriguing and controversial topics in history, science, and religion. I'm your host, Orphelian. And today we're going to talk about one of the most mysterious and enigmatic books in ancient lore, the Book of Jubilees. The Book of Jubilees is not your typical biblical book. It's a thrilling mix of history and prophecy, mystery and revelation. It tells the story of the events from the creation to the exodus, but with a twist. It adds new details, changes some facts, and reveals some secrets. But who wrote this book? When was it written? And what is its purpose? The Book of Jubilees claims to be written by Moses himself, under the inspiration of an angel who dictated it to him on Mount Sinai. It claims to be written in the year 2450 after the creation, which is around 1400 BC. And it claims to be written for the purpose of correcting and clarifying the errors and ambiguities in the book of Genesis. But is this true? Is this book really written by Moses? Is it really inspired by God? And is it really part of the Bible? In this video, we will explore three main reasons why the book of Jubilees is not in the Bible. These are, the book of Jubilees contradicts the Bible, the Book of Jubilees contains historical and chronological errors. The Book of Jubilees was rejected by Jews and Christians. Let's look at each reason in more detail. The first reason why the Book of Jubilees is not in the Bible is that it contradicts the Bible. It contradicts the Bible in many ways, such as It changes the names and ages of some patriarchs. It adds new laws and festivals that are not in the Torah. It alters some events and stories that are in Genesis. It introduces new doctrines and beliefs that are not in Scripture. For example, it changes the name of Noah's father from Lamech to Methuselah. It adds a new festival called the Feast of Weeks that celebrates the renewal of the covenant. It alters the story of Abraham's sacrifice by saying that Isaac was 25 years old instead of a boy. And it introduces new doctrines such as angelic mediation, predestination, and heavenly tablets. These contradictions show that the Book of Jubilees is not consistent with the Bible and cannot be considered as part of it. The second reason why the Book of Jubilees is not in the Bible is that it contains historical and chronological errors. It contains errors that show that it was not written by Moses or in his time, but much later. For example, it mentions events and places that did not exist or were not known in Moses' time, such as the division of Israel into two kingdoms, the captivity of Israel by Assyria, the destruction of Jerusalem by Babylon, the name Palestine. It also uses a different calendar system than the one used by Moses and his contemporaries. It uses a solar calendar of 364 days instead of a lunar calendar of 354 days. This causes discrepancies in dates and seasons. These errors show that the Book of Jubilees is not accurate or reliable as a historical source and cannot be considered part of Scripture. The third reason why the Book of Jubilees is not in the Bible is that it was rejected by Jews and Christians. It was rejected by both groups for different reasons. For Jews, it was rejected because it did not meet the criteria for being part of their canon. These criteria included being written in Hebrew, being written before 400 BC, being accepted by all Jewish communities, being consistent with Torah. The Book of Jubilees failed to meet these criteria because it was written in Aramaic or Greek, not Hebrew. It was written after 400 BC, probably between 200 BC and 100 BC. It was not accepted by all Jewish communities, but only by some sects such as Essenes. And it was not consistent with Torah, but contradicted it. 
For Christians, it was rejected because it did not have apostolic authority or universal acceptance. These were two factors that influenced their canon formation. Apostolic authority meant that a book had to be written or endorsed by an apostle or someone close to them. Universal acceptance meant that a book had to be widely used and recognized by all churches. The Book of Jubilees did not have apostolic authority or universal acceptance because it was not written or endorsed by any apostle or their associates. It was not widely used or recognized by all churches, but only by some groups such as Ethiopians. These rejections show that the Book of Jubilees did not have enough support or evidence to be part of Scripture. Is it really inspired by God or by an angel? Or is it inspired by human imagination or deception? That's for you to decide. But now let's move on to some interesting facts about Archangel Michael in the Book of Jubilees. Archangel Michael plays an important role in this book as one of God's chief angels who reveals his secrets to Moses. Here are some facts about him that might surprise you. Contention over Moses' body. According to the Book of Jubilees, after Moses dies, there is a dispute between Michael and Satan over the fate of Moses' body. Satan desires to claim Moses' body for his own purposes, while Michael seeks to protect it. In this account, Michael appeals to God to intervene, and Moses' body is ultimately taken up to heaven, hidden from Satan's grasp. This story demonstrates Michael's role as a celestial warrior, battling against the forces of darkness and triumphing in the name of righteousness. The book also tells us that Archangel Michael is the one who binds and imprisons the fallen angels who corrupted mankind before the flood. He also presides over their judgment and punishment. And Archangel Michael is the one who teaches Abraham the laws of circumcision and calendar reform. He also blesses him and his descendants and promises to protect them. So, my friends, as we conclude this wild ride into the unknown, let us carry with us the hidden secrets of the Book of Jubilees. It is a mystery, a controversy, and an explanation. It is a book like no other. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this one. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching and may God bless you.